Hey, is that how rooms are going to look in the future? Well, that depends on the designers of the future, and that could be you. Try designing something. Your room, perhaps. What you need to do is draw a plan, right? It's sort of an overhead view of the room. Here's the room, here's the bed, the window in the wall, and the door opening, and other bits of furniture. But you don't really get a feel of what it's going to look like, so you need to draw the walls. There's one of the walls. This is called an elevation, a picture of one wall. The window, bed, and here's a picture of another wall, another elevation. Picture on the wall, the end of the bed. But you still don't get any feeling of depth, of three dimensions. You see, all rooms are three-dimensional. Look at this room. You can see that that corner is a long way away. Me too! But if I come down here, I get bigger and bigger, and you get a feeling of three dimensions. Now, you can design your uh, room and give it a three-dimensional feel when you're designing it. Look at this. It's called isometric graph paper. And instead of the lines being straight up and down, they run diagonally. And you have to draw your floor as a diamond. And then the two walls, there's one there, and another one there, with the window in it. On a skew, as it were. And your furniture, if you draw that on the same sort of paper and then cut it out, you can get a three-dimensional feel to that. No, I don't want it that way around. But if it's double-sided, <laughs> you can turn it around. Put it in there. Then we'll have bedside cabinet. Now that needs to go quite close to the bed, so you actually overlap it. Because it would hide some of the bed, wouldn't it? And this chest of drawers, go there. And a picture on the wall. Look at the shape of the picture. It's a real diamond shape for it all to work, for it to look three-dimensional. 